Welcome back. When Hunter Bell and Jeff Bowen, two aspiring musical theater artists, were filling out the application form for their submission to the 2004 New York Musical Theater Festival, the form asked for the title of their show. Well, they didn't have one, so they went with the simple title, Title of Show. And now, a year and a half after Title of Show debuted at the festival, it's become a hit off-Broadway. I recently spoke with Bell, who wrote the show's book, and Bowen, who wrote the music and lyrics, about their incredible journey with this backstage musical. But before we see that interview, let's take a look at a moment from Title of Show, which, along with Bell and Bowen, also stars Susan Blackwell and Heidi Blickenstaff. It's the funny song, it doesn't have a title, no. Hunter Bell, Jeff Bowen, welcome to On Stage. Thank you for hey, having us. Good to have you in. Yeah. Now let's start by going back to the spring of 2004. You get an email about this new musical theater festival and uh, take it from there. What happened? Yeah, we, um, the genesis of the project uh, was the inaugural year of the New York Music Theater Festival. And uh, we talk about it within the show, but uh, I received an email. A friend of mine at my day job uh, knew that Jeff and I had collaborated before and said they're accepting submissions. And we did. We got the, <laughs> the notice of that three weeks before the submissions were due. And so Jeff and I said, let's pull something together. And we and did. We did. And <laughs> and, and, and what you pulled together was? Was essentially, well, as we were trying to come up with an idea for what can we make our three-week writing exercise be, uh, very early on we found that the most interesting thing that we were trying to come up with was actually trying to come up with something. <laughs> and we right. decided, what if we actually tried to script us trying to come up with an original idea for a musical? <laughs> hey, look, the first scene was just us talking about what to write. We could just put this exact conversation in the show. The goal truly was, and it was honest, to at least, if nothing else, to write for three weeks, to, to get off the couch and to start creating again. We had collaborated before, we had worked, and then, you know, life and everything else gets in the way, and we kind of not created and worked on creating for a while. And so we truly said, if nothing else, use it as a writing exercise. You know, we'll put it in the, we made a commitment to put it in the mail. We didn't really think we would get in. You know, we didn't think it, we would, but, but it was. Not a, only did you, you get in. <laughs> we did get but in. You, so you had your performance in the festival. We got in. Uh, you had further performances at the Eugene O'Neill Center. You, you had that. And now, as we know, you're now running at the Vineyard <laughs> Theater. You're, you're off Broadway. Yeah. The, the show actually finished with us mailing it uh, when we did the incarnation at the festival. And... That festival is amazing. I know you guys covered it too, but like Chris Stewart and all those guys gave us a real shot. And when we finished that, we're like, okay, I think we're done. Yeah. And but we're not. And Apparently, then you, we're you not. Moved on, he added more. <laughs> added more, and we began. But we're to actually, incarnate. that's when it became even more difficult because outside voices are coming in. That's and right. What to do? Yeah. Which one interesting thing you you've you've said that it's not just fluff. This show. It's also sort of a. I think you've called it like a, a self help kind of piece for, for actors or writers who are, are dealing with the demons of insecurity. Right. I think so, Donna. I feel like that, you know, what started as kind of just writing exercise then became a conversation about kind of bigger things. Why do you create? Who do you create for? Or, or for uh, what is the catalyst? It, and so it's just hard to put yourself out there, whether it's a poem, whether it's a musical, whether it's a painting, whether it's a, a seminar you do at an office. And, and we so. didn't intend it necessarily to be a therapy of that, but we, we were discovering as we were creating it that it was that for us. It mm -hmm. really was us having to invest and having us having to take risks on things we never really had before, and it was serving as yeah. sort of a therapy for us. Right. And so it sort of lent itself to inspiring other people. Yeah, who along with all creative. the fun, right. goofiness. Right. There are judges. I mean, people will be reading our stuff. I don't want to look like a total jackoff. Well, we'll just treat it as a, as a writing exercise. And look at it this way. Anything will be better than Whorehouse Goes Public. <laughs> 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 it was good, Whorehouse. Actually, I never saw it, so that's not fair. <laughs> I never saw it either, but I have opinions about stuff I've never seen all the time. <laughs> a lot of inside theater stuff. Did, did you ever... Um, think, gee, is this too inside theater? Mostly we found that we, 
as, as the characters became Jeff and Hunter based on who we were, those were specifically kind of about those characters. Those characters talked about those sort of things, whether you knew what they were talking about or not, that's what mm -hmm. those characters talked about. And so it was really kind of more based on that and not necessarily on like, let's see how inside we can make it. Yeah, we just kind of, it was honestly what came out of us in that moment and captured it. And what's interesting, I feel like we've been asked a lot, do you worry about, is it too small a target audience? Um, we've been doing okay at Vineyard. You know, people who, Have theater, no idea who, who people, <laughs> theater lovers <laughs> love it. You know, it's a little Easter eggs and tip of the hat. Mm -hmm. But also we found that friends of ours who have no no reference point for you know they may not know who Mary Stout is or they may who Bernadette Peter is. Having been hit by a hot dog, dog car. car. Yeah. But, but you have a lot of uh, you have a lot of inside theater stuff, including you, you mentioned on stage. You mentioned our Roma Tori. So I daydream all the time. I think about being on Broadway beat uh, on on stage. I want to meet Roma Tori. <laughs> <laughs> you awesome. also have a, a bunch of Broadway actresses who do. Uh, voicemail messages within yeah. the show. You have, um, let's see, you have Carrie Butler, Maren Maisie, Victoria Clark, Amy Spanger, Emily Skinner. But actually, in doing some research, I discovered that there is one voicemail message that I think you missed out on. Uh -oh. And we actually have it here to play for you now. What? Can we play that, guys? Hi, Jeff and Hunter. It's Roma Tori. Well, it seems some people will do just about anything for a good review. Of course, cash and gifts work just as well, so remember that next time. I, I hope you guys have a very long, healthy run, and um, don't forget me at royal time, okay? royalty time, all right? Uh, Bye. Oh awesome. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. <laughs> well, That's she amazing, hung up, daughter. but <laughs> what we have for you now. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I know you yeah. wanted to meet me. So <laughs> Donna. Oh, meet you oh, oh, so nice Donna. to meet you both. Nice to meet you both. Jeff and Congratulations. I wonder what that chair was for. <laughs> um, all my you know, are coming. Now we can close the show. We're done, you know I've heard so many great things about your show, and I would really love to give you a good review. The only problem is I haven't seen it yet. Uh, well, then again, yeah. why should that stop me, right? That's right. right. <laughs> you know, see, we talk about yeah. you. Yeah. you say? Yeah, we do say we have a line As in, you in say in show. your show. You can give your opinion <laughs> if you've seen stuff or not. Uh, yes, we pander. And here's what I love about onstage, too. I, I joke about this, because they'll have us on, and then they'll cut away, and they'll be like, coming up next, my review of title show, and then they'll... And they just stick it to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll hook you up with a ticket whenever you come. I don't think that's going to happen. I love that you guys are here. This is crazy. Uh, well, you know, I, I really feel as if I have arrived being mentioned in a show. And uh, if people want, do want to form their own opinion of your show with seeing it, they can go down to the Vineyard Theater yeah. for title of show. I would so, unfortunately, we're out of time. But thank great. you both thank so much for coming in. Thanks for having great. us. And title of show has recently been extended. It's running at the Vineyard Theater on East 15th Street through April 23rd.